Hello and welcome back or hi if it's your first time to my channel. I'm Kid Ugly. Today I'm doing Trick or Treat by Evil Genius Brewing. This is their chocolate chocolate pumpkin porter. I'm coming in at 7.8% alcohol. It says get your fuzzy boots on Debbie. It's a chocolate pu chocolate pumpkin porter. Hey, this beer is haunted. Don't drink it. Yes, I know it's a dark roasty porter with cinnamon, clove, nutmeg, and chocolate, and it tastes amazing, but don't drink it. It's haunted. Fine, but don't run to me when the walls on your fridge start bleeding. Figured it was a perfect beer for Halloween. Let's crack her open, see how it's going to taste, smell, all that. I've had this sitting in my fridge for like a month and a half. I've been waiting to crack her open. Figured Halloween was a perfect time to be drinking this. Look at that. It looks, it pours dark, dark, dark brown. Pretty much like oil. About a two finger brown khaki head. You definitely get that roasted mocha chocolate. A little bit of spice coming off the nose. A little hints of nutmeg and cinnamon. Not very much pumpkin off the nose though. I think you get just a hint, just a tiny hint of pumpkin. Let's do the taste. Mm. Definitely get that roasted mocha. Almost like a dark baking chocolate. It's a light spice. Um, yeah, you definitely get more of the spice as it finishes up. Going into the into the background. Man, I was really excited to try this. I think as much as you see, I'm, I'm starting to realize that pumpkin beers really aren't that... I don't know, they're just not easy. Or maybe with the porters, they just get overpowered by that dark roastiness, the chocolate, the mocha. Because um, I'm not getting a whole lot of the cinnamon or the nutmegs or the clove or the pumpkin. Or maybe it's just it's too cold still and the flavors haven't been able to come out. Maybe they're being subdued by the coldness. It's a good porter. By itself, it is a good porter. Um, that's what you went into it for. Because it's a good, robust roast to it. But it's not that burnt roast that you can get on a lot of porters. Um, it, it's good. It, trust me, it's a good one. Um, and I'm, I'm thinking maybe it's just with these porters and the stouts, if this, they have pumpkin in it, they just get overpowered. The pumpkin doesn't have enough to pop out like you really want it to. But it's good. It's delicious. I enjoy it. Could do with more pumpkin though, with some more spice. Um, like I said, maybe if, as it sits and warms up, as is, it's a good porter. By itself, if you just want a regular porter, this would be a good porter for you. As a pumpkin porter, not so much. It's not it's, You're not going to get that kick you're looking for with a pumpkin beer. It's still good, though. I'm enjoying it. So, I hope you have a good Halloween. Hope the weather's good for you, for your kids. Make sure you say trick or treat when you knock on the door for your candy. Cheers, everybody. I'm going to pop back, back in. Um, I'm going to give this, for what it is, I'm going to get 3.5 because I, there wasn't no punk in there. Um, if it was just a porter that I was doing, I would give it a higher score. Because it's supposed to be a pumpkin porter, I'm going to give it a 3.5 out of 5. Again, take it easy everybody, cheers.